What's up guys? Today we're gonna learn how to manipulate decimal points, floating points, whatever you wanna call them. So what you will need to do is to include this right library right here. IO manipulation. Alright. So this library allows you allows you to use some uh, building functions which will help you yeah manipulate anything on input output but specifically today we're gonna see floating points so let's go on and declare a float value uh, variable sorry a and let's input it in so we're gonna just output without using anything all right without using anything at all there you go, so let's use this one here. There you go, five decimal points without me saying that I want five or I need more. But let's just see how to to set how much figures I wanna see, right? So how to do this, you can only write down this thing right here. Set precision. Say four, alright? And there you go. See four figures, and let's test it with. Oh, sorry. Let's do this again. There you go. You see, always four figures, right? So I don't need four figures. I need uh, four decimal points. That's why you watch this video right now. So how to do this? You're gonna write down this thing fixed. Right, and F9 to run it. There you go. So let's say I put this thing right here. There you go. Four decimal points. Doesn't matter how how long it is. You can set the position. But okay, float float variables. They have a limit of decimal points. Doubles have uh, a limit, but floats. Are the limit is smaller so if I put this right here 10 decimal points for example there you go it doesn't go very well now you see it's actually changing right here so if I have a double and set 10 as decimal points there you go It goes exactly on 10 decimal points. Alright, so this actually helps you to, to actually find the difference between doubles and floats. Alright, so now if you want to to again to again come back to this set position of the beginning, setting position on figures not on decimal points, what you have to write down is this thing right here. Unset F AOS and what you want to unset is fixed. Alright, so let's copy this line right here. And yes, I'm end line right here just for for the output to be more organized. There you go. Alright, so let's try this thing out. So yeah, alright, these numbers are here and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we just. Whatever. There you go. See? Right here you have the fixed working on, and you get 10 uh, decimal points. There are you unsetting the fixed uh, mask you're using, and you get 10 figures, right? So that's how you can manipulate floating boys, floating, <laughs> floating uh, numbers, guys. I hope I was helpful to you. Please subscribe and like up for more videos. See you in the next one, guys. Goodbye.